All right. Well, this was the first, I wouldn't necessarily call it a failed fishing trip, but I didn't catch any fish, so. I guess that would be a fail, huh? <laughs> but you know what? There are a lot of here where I was today. Spiders, holy crap. Guys, I had, I got one crawling on me right now. I'm in the car, God. Let me tell you, if you have any kind of fear of spiders, do not go where I was just at. I'm not even gonna say where I was, because that's, that, <laughs> I had them crawling like up my nose, in my ears. They're still crawling on me. I know they are. I just had one on my arm. And they weren't little either. I mean, <laughs> there's some big spiders down there. I feel like they're crawling all over me. But uh, anyway, back to the, the fishing. I tried smallmouth. I tried rainbow trout. Nothing. And... I was talking to a guy, I think, and he does too, I think what happened was we had like all of a sudden spring hit. Like boom, it went from like 40 degree high to 75 degree high. And I think that kind of screwed everything up. The barometric pressure or something, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the fish went from biting okay to just not biting at all. And happens so this is the first failed fishing trip of the year hopefully the last but i highly doubt it happens so i'm gonna go home and the next part of this video you guys are gonna see i'm gonna i'm gonna do another fly tying video um well it's gonna be on this video but i'm going to tie i'm pretty sure i'm gonna show you guys a cool technique um using a dubbing loop to dub deer hair, elk hair. It's really cool. So um, we're gonna tie either a deer hair or an elk hair caddis. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and uh, go tie us a fly. I'll see you guys here in just a second. Hi right, guys. <laughs> I just did this video. I just tied this fly right here. And noticed that my camera was in and out of focus so much that I just couldn't justify putting that one up it just didn't turn out as well so i'm gonna show you guys how to make this fly this is a my one of my versions of a great dry fly uh deer hair caddis so let's go and get started it's gonna be a little bit i'm gonna grab me a hook i'm using a size six curved hook uh, model UT03. I don't know what brand this is, but it don't much matter. Just find you a hook that works good. I've tested these out with the caddises and they do float, so the hook is fine. Um, but it's just a good size shape. So that's what I'm using. I'm using an olive. Uh, size 210 ultra thread this is kind of a this fly kind of takes some time to do but I'm going to try to knock this out a little faster so grab the deer hair I'm going to do this one with this tail so grab a bunch of that off oh that's what I'm using throw that in a stacker Good. Look at that. Nice and even. Set that right there. Pinch.
focus. Oh, I didn't do that. Taking my time with this fly. Make sure it's the way I want it. But for this one, I'm just going to go pretty fast for you guys. Next, we're going to form a dubbing loop. So you do that. Pull some thread out. Put your finger. Pull thread back up here around the hook. Couple wraps. I'm going to take it around the loop two times. And this will pinch the top of the loop to a point. Take this up here. I'm going to do a whip finish. A dubbing spinner. So So what you're gonna do, snip you off a little bit, and then you're gonna slide that up into the loop. Spread it out just a little bit. And if you pull down on the uh, tool, it'll keep tension on it, it won't let it go anywhere. And you can grab it with this hand, grab your deer with this hand, and then you can snip with this hand, and then place with this hand. Take some practice, but I found that to be the easiest way. Keep it as even as possible, but if it's not 100% even, that's fine. This does take some practice. Deer hair is not really forgiving. If you've ever worked with deer hair, you'll know what I'm talking about. Spin it up. All the extra little strands are going to fly off. That's fine. Give it a good spin. So, then, take a brush. Brush it out. If you got them, if not, it's fine. You can keep it on the spinner. But I found that if you take this, pinch it off towards the end, and then cut the spinner free, you have a lot more freedom to move this around without having to worry about it coming off. Take this, you're going to wrap it. And then on the bottom part of your wrap, Pull everything back. Ramp again. <laughs> Pulling everything back in that direction. After you trap. You can also make mice this way. Top water mice for like bass fishing. The old brown trout fishing. Uh, kind of cool. And right about so. I'm going to take the thread. And I'm going to lock it in. Do this for you. This for you. Put this all back. I'm going to take some white. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna stack that. 
You can stack it, but you don't have to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to cut it even. And that's just going to go on top. Get that up close. Cut it at an angle. Grab a piece of dry fly hackle. Listen, what's up, buddy? Oh, yeah. No. But then I'm doing a video. You want to come say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Wrap your hackle. Same haircut. So Brush. That's it. That's it. You can trim it up a little more if you want to. That is a dubbed deer head caddis.